I'm going to build a very basic VST synthesizer from start to finish with SynthEdit so you can see the entire process for reference. The first thing I'm going to do in my initial project is insert a container. Go right click to structure and this is inside the container. First thing inside the container is to insert a MIDI to CV or control voltage. Everything inside SynthEdit is done with virtual voltage, uh, which is just referred to as voltage, of course. Insert controls, keyboard, and this will allow you to test the VST in construction. And you will notice that my default background is kind of a beige color. I do suggest changing this using the properties on your desktop so that you reduce the amount of light your eyes are absorbing, also setting a comfortable low amount of contrast and brightness on your monitor is a good idea if you spent a lot of time using the computer. And let's see. Insert waveform oscillator. And this is not the place to explain what an oscillator is. Hook the pitch of the oscillator up to the pitch of the MIDI to CV pin. And insert controls. Slider. The slider is the basic control element in SynthEdit. And um, let's see, we're going to copy and paste the oscillator first, excuse me. And if we right click on the slider, we can select different control forms, for instance, a knob, horizontal slider, or a button. Also here you can um, deselect the show readout, which removes that number that was here at the bottom, and set the minimum and maximum range for the slider, and we're going to call this detune. It's important to give your sliders or your control elements a name so that they show up in the VST host as different names so you can um, automate them. Go right click panel edit on the container and here we have the GUI of the VST with my detune control element on it. And the first thing I'm going to add is a modifier xmix which is going to allow me to cross-mix the signals from the two oscillators. Copy and paste my slider, and this is going to be the oscillator mix. We need to set the range of this detune to one semitone, which is referred to in the help documents. And back inside the container, we are going to insert an IO mod for the container, an IO module. And if we connect that to something, in this case, a level adjuster module, which is a basic amplification module, I suppose, you see the pin appear on the container and insert input output sound out. And once we connect this, we have a continuous signal from MIDI note to audio out. However, if we press play, it doesn't sound very nice. Basically, we don't have any way of handling the polyphony, which is um, something that you might come across if you start building rapidly. So I'm going to add an ADSR envelope. There are other envelope forms available from third parties. And copy and paste a bunch of sliders. And it's always a good idea to organize everything well just in case you need to go back and grab elements for building things rapidly. And you'll see those sliders appearing on my GUI. You could change the name to something more concise if you're just going to use the default background. And I'll probably do another tutorial showing how to edit skins in the future. So basically what I've added is a basic ADSR or attack, decay, sustain, release envelope, and hopefully that is explained somewhere else that you can easily reference. If you press play again, we won't hear a horrible noise. And now the polyphony is being handled correctly, and by changing the envelope parameters, we can make a long release. The detune is adding a slight constant to the pitch of the second oscillator, and this mix control allows you to mix between the two. Whoops. 
And so what I'm going to do is go right click controls list entry module and this is a very basic way of setting the waveforms on your synth if you right click on the module and select properties you can select it there if you want to have say a fixed white noise oscillator and there are other ways of um, of course creating GUI elements to configure your waveforms this is the most facile and let's see what I'm doing here is I'm selecting and copying the entire envelope structure so we now have two envelopes and I'm going to connect that to a filter there are a couple of basic filters in Synthetic and the one I'm going to use is an SV filter or state variable filter this has a couple of different modes of output with a separate pin for each we're only going to use the low pass filter for this project the SV filter also has resonance and I'm going to whoops paste two little graphic elements here for the pitch and the resonance of the filter and position these off to the side and so this top ADSI envelope is amplification this lower one is for the filter and if we connect this envelope to the filter pin to the pitch pin of the filter we should be able to hear the effect and have a very basic synthesizer and here's the filter this low pass filtering mode is of course eliminating um, higher filters or higher frequencies excuse me and if you had a high pass filter that would eliminate lower frequencies and if I lower the pitch of the filter you should be able to hear the effect of the envelope more give it a long decay and increase the resonance okay we've got a very basic synthesizer here and so what I'm going to do is whoops properties name my container in some hosts the um, name of this container is going to show up as the name of the VST I don't remember which ones that is and it's only a couple of them and first save the project for fun sorry for the disorganization here and if we go to file save as VST we see the product name from the um, container name you can change that to whatever you want name the DLL you also need to add a unique four character identifier for the VST and it's a good idea to make that related to the name of the VST um, there is a place on the Steinberg VST SDK website where you can register your four character IDs but of course there are so many freeware synths out nowadays that I'm sure most of them are not registered in this uh, help box here you can add a little blurb that will appear if you right click on the GUI and actually before I go any further I'm going to add a second output to the synth so that it outputs in stereo which is just convenient for some hosts and I'm also going to add insert MIDI patch select the patch select module does not need to be connected it will automatically configure that for you you need a patch select module not only for um, of course storing patches and so forth but for recalling the patch of just um, one instance inside your song if you save your song file in your host and reopen it and so now that we have the patch select we can go ahead and save that as a VST add for character identifier select plugin is synth mono use okay not really important here outputs a stereo pairs if you had say uh, four or six outputs on your container this would group them together if you were making a multiple um, output VST click OK save file first sure saved OK demo.dll and that DLL is of course your VST plugin and if we go to the synth edit folder open the VST plugins and there it is demo DLL <laughs> 